Shane, that was a heck of a win. Thank uh, you, man. Just how'd you feel about it you know, a few minutes after the fact? Oh, man, my last fight was nine months ago, right? Around nine, nine, ten months, something like that. So uh, that was only two minutes and 11 seconds. It's cool. I'm excited. I got the win quick, but I want to get my feet a little more wet, and I'm pissed that I got dropped. Quite frankly, honestly. that was a lot of fight for two hundred or two minutes, and eleven seconds. Yeah, I mean, maybe you fight a night. You never know, right? <laughs> he, he stepped over the head when you went for the arm. Uh, when did you know that that, that wasn't going to work? Uh, I felt his elbow way above my cup, and I was like, "Oh, it's, I got this." You yeah. knew he was going to roll in. I I thought it was. I didn't know if he was going to tap, honestly, but I was. I knew I had it. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. So when you got dropped, immediately did you feel like you were you were okay? You were, you yeah, were if you okay. yeah if you watch the replay, you see me smiling as soon as I as soon as he hit me, I was like fuck. I smiled and I was on my way down. I was like you can't really you can't control that at that point. But I smiled and I was like fuck. He thought I was more hurt than I was actually, and he postured up to strike and I just threw the arm up. Can't really work better than that now, kind of. Uh, no, it could have worked better than that. I drop him then submit him. That would have been better, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he got overconfident and that's kind of what uh, played into that? Yeah, and and, and and nobody really knows about my ground game because I didn't really show it at all. Any of, my, any of my UFC fights, especially my guard, but um, if you go back and you do your homework, you look at my amateur fights, I used to jump guard in some of my fights, and yeah, so I, I think I'm a pretty well-rounded fighter. On top and on bottom, standing on the cage, I think I'm pretty good everywhere, honestly. Well, the secret's out now, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. The armor, yeah. it's the thing you like, or it was just available? It's something that when somebody postures up getting ready to strike, I, which I knew he was going to do because he just dropped, dropped me, right? So yeah, I knew he was getting ready to posture to strike. I was like, all right, I'm either going to put my feet in his hips, explode up, or he's going to go to strike, and I'm going to throw the arm bar up. If I get it, great. If I don't, I'm going to be able to scramble and get back up. So. It was, that's, that's, yeah, that's what I do usually. So the secret's out, right? After such a long, yeah, after such a long break, I mean, what, what do you feel now? Do you want a quick turnaround? Uh, honestly, at two minutes and 11 seconds, I, like, I was hyped after the win, but you kind of feel that, like, I want more. Honestly, I'm still hungry. I want, I want more. I'm happy I got the, the, the finish. I'm happy I won quick, but uh, honestly, I wish it was a little bit later. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, it's been nine months. I wanted to show off more. I wanted to fight more. I wanted more time in the cage. You hear some guys being like, we don't get paid by the minute. No, I, I've been so. saying that since, my, since being in my career. But the fact that I got dropped changed my mind on that. I'm pissed that I got dropped, honestly. So I wish I dropped him, honestly. Do UFC ever call you to fill in on late notice before? No. Do you hope they do? Um, we're not, me and my team, we're not really known for late notice kind of fights like that. We like to prepare and really prepare for, for our fights. So I don't know about late notice fight. I'm kind of a big featherweight, too, so. <laughs> yeah, anyone in the division that you want to fight? No, nah, man, I don't care. But I heard they're going to Brooklyn in, in January. Maybe that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Four of your first five fights in the UFC have been in New York. So getting that Brooklyn fight, is it just <laughs> something that you just like fighting in New York or it just kind of works out? It's convenient, man. I live an hour away. Actually, Halloween was on Wednesday. I went home and trick or treated with my daughter. Came back here and got a workout in and did the rest of the fight week. So it's, it's, it's hella convenient. I haven't flown, taken a flight to any of my fights. My other fight outside of New York was in Boston. Three hour drive from my house. Drove up there real quick. So it, it's, it's nice. Um, but I wouldn't mind taking a flight out somewhere else. Do you have anywhere in particular you want to go fight? Vegas, honestly. Who doesn't want to fight in Vegas, right? Was it hard not eating any candy? It was brutal. My daughter can't even eat the candy, so I had to just get it and just leave it there. And I, I, I couldn't eat it. She couldn't eat it. She's only one and a half years old, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm tired. So is it like waiting for you now? Oh, yeah, you know? man. It's home. I know that. I got, I got a bunch of little cousins, and they, they, they know. When they, when they go trick-or-treat, and all the Reese's go to me. So I got those waiting at home, too. I'm a foodie, man. I love, love, love food. Love food. I was at Texas, actually, not that long ago, and I went to your gym. You weren't there, but up the barbecue there, man. <laughs> Fighting and food, those are my and family. Fighting, food, family, three Fs, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying, Shane, that lightweight is on your future. It might be, honestly. I'm getting a little older. Weight's getting a little harder. Weight cut's getting a little harder. <laughs> we'll see. So do you have a list of, of, your, of your candy you're going to eat when you, when you get back? Reese's Not a list. I just got the bucket sitting in there. Yeah, Reese's and M&M's. I've been trying to get the M&M sponsorship, but it's taking a while. Not where, responding. Where do you actually live? Do you live in New York? Or do you live yeah, Monroe. You probably you live in New York, right? I did. You know where Woodbury Commons? You ever heard of it? That's my town right there. I live right there. Yep. Near the so, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's where I live. I, I used to work there. It's terrible. Which store? Uh, Puma and J. Crew. Yeah, it sucks. That one. <laughs> Especially on Black Friday. Employee discount, though, right? Yeah, but Black Friday just made it. <laughs> it's terrible. No <laughs> yeah, make a hell of a lot more money. So <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> Anything else, guys?